Okay, so welcome to another video. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create consistent characters with mid journey. So in this lesson, this is very useful if you want to create like visual novels, comics even, or even storyboards as well, and many more. So let's start from the basic, which is how to create consistent characters using mid journey. So here I'm showing you some examples that I've created using mid journey. So it's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's like, you know, world building, characters building. And what I meant by consistent is that each of these characters hold or maintain consistent visual attributes. For examples, hair colors, the eye, the nose, the lip, the clothing colors, the expressions, maybe the um, hair textures and everything, the eye textures and everything. So that what constitutes a consistent characters or arts. So let's just jump to how can we do it. So on the right hand side here, we have the methods. So the easy one is that we're going to reuse image from the web or from the reference that I've created to generate prompt, then customize the prompt to meet our needs. We can use this using chat GPT. So that's the easy part. And the medium or maybe the complex or challenging ones is that manually write prompt from scratch in mid journey. So let's start from the first methods first. So first you go to chat GPT and then you're going to use GPT-4. So make sure that you've subscribed because again, in GPT-4, we have the so-called GPT-4V or GPT vision, which means the AI can take a look at your images, at your illustrations and come up with descriptions on the images. And to do that, we're going to click the attach image link on the corner here. And then let's put some example, for example, this one. And then we're going to write, describe this image for me. So we're going to enter. It takes a uh, load a bit here and let's enter it out. So that's the first step, right? So generating prompt from the image. So as you can see, the image depicts an animated character. She has fair skin, distinct freckles and ex expressive brown eyes, okay? Her hair is wavy and silver gray, falling loosely around her shoulders, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is good. So we're going to copy the prompt here and then insert it into the mid journey chat box. So we're going to go imagine and then paste the prompt, but I'm going to improve a bit. So create an illustration of an, uh, of an anime character. So create a portrait. I want the portrait here, right? Okay. So let's enter and wait me journey to generate. So that's the first part. And the second part is manually write prompt from scratch. So I'm going to show you after this. So we're just going to wait me journey to generate the first methods here. Okay. So as you can see, we can see a bit of glimpse or preview. You don't have to worry though, because it's not completed yet. It's still 46%. So you just have to be patient and wait till hundred percent. Okay, so here are some results. So this is what AI thinks based on your description. Okay, so if you take a look at the original image, of course, it is vastly different. But again, you can use this prompt to create your own character. So this image here only used as reference. Again, if you don't know what to write, what kind of prompts do you want to create, you can reuse this image or any image from the web and then create your own version of your own characters. Okay, so now let's do the second part, which is the manually write prompt from scratch. So I'm going to use Mid Journey. Imagine. So let's try a a portrait illustration of a male character, let's say Ghibli um, artwork style, enter. So this second method means you have to write the prompts manually. 
and again prompting is of course the skill that we need to hone so maybe at first you kind of confuse what to write but using this image reusable methods you can take a look at how you can write uh, improve from that gradually okay so if you take a look here a portrait illustrations of a male character Ghibli artwork style so this is some results which is again pretty good in my opinion so if you take a look here there you go these are some results so I want to show you another trick we can actually blend the results here with our main reference or our main image reference so to do that let's pick one of this image I love this uh, image here so this is like number three one two three four so we're going to upscale image number three we're going to download it and we're going to blend it with this image okay so let's save the image and then go back to mid journey and then at the plus click the plus button here sorry i mean type blend not plus and then you can upload image you can drag and drop so for example this is the first one and this is the second one and if you uh, if you enter mid journey will come up with the blended result from this image and this one so it's interesting so there are many ways actually okay so it begins 15% 31 percent 46 62 78 okay looking good 93 okay I think it looks good so as you can see this is the blended image results I think it's much better because I combine this one which I think way more superior in my opinion and then this is like the AI generated ones so here are the results looking good so I think I love the this one like I like this uh, I like this one so I'm going to choose to upscale image number four but I want let's say to regenerate so we can take a look at other variants that may may look better fingers crossed of course Okay, so these are the other variants. Uh, yeah, I think it looks good. I, I love this ones, but I think it's more ma major here. So I'm gonna stick with this one. So I'm gonna upscale image number four. And then we'll just have to wait. There you go. And then let's save the image. Desktop again. All right, so let's put it into the Figma. So now we're going to add these variants and make sure it maintains visual consistency. So I'm going to reuse this image. And to do that, I'm, I can just click here, copy image link, and then imagine. Oops, let's try it again. Copy image link, paste the image, okay? And then male character facing left, for example, hopeful expression. Ghibli artwork style. All right, so let's just wait. So while we wait for the AI to generate, I'm gonna show you some of my past experiments here. So if you take a look, I've spent countless of hours maybe making sure that it comes with the, <laughs> the characters that I like. So again, this is trial and error process. So let's go back again here. Okay, looking good. Uh, I think we want the character to face left. So yeah, I think this one is the right ones, but we can regenerate again. And I think as you can see, this one has a much kind of hopeful expressions. This one is okay, but this one's facing right. I want 
I want it to face left, so. Okay. I think this is all. All of these are facing right, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's why I'm calling trial and error, because sometimes the AI doesn't get it. You want it to face left, it face right. But again, it's part of the journey after all, so. Anyway, for the sake of this tutorial, let's just use anything that we have. So the ones that kind of resemblance this image, I think is, yeah, number, number three. Yeah, number three looks kind of similar. So let's upscale number three. There we go. So we can also add another variance. Strong means you're gonna create strong variance, which has strong differences. This one's subtle one, so let's try very subtle. This is another way to, again, uh, generate more, more variance to the image. So as you can see here. And in fact, speaking of it we can actually do this <laughs> save enough time but anyway i'm showing you the process here you know how it how it works yeah yeah okay so let's use the first image so i'm gonna upscale image one and let's download it save it to the desktop Let's drag it to Figma. So here you go. So as you can see, the second character is smiling a bit, you know, hopeful expression. The one's kind of like, mm, okay, I'm observing this stuff, what happened here. But the second one is like, oh, all right, cool, I get it. So this is how you maintain visual consistency. And as you can see, the clothing colors is similar. Uh, holding a bag here also similar having a gray inner clothes here also similar the curly hair also similar the eye also looks similar and yeah that's how you create a consistent character so you know how to draw the character with these two methods blending the characters and adding other variants which maintain visual consistency as the topic of this tutorial today which is create consistent characters with mid journey so yeah, that's all about this tutorial. I hope you find it very useful. I hope you can be patient with the trial and error process. And yeah, hopefully this video helps you out and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.